I would like to introduce Dr. Mrinath Patnaik, who is a MD student at uh, Imsco Paul in Forensic Medicine Department. And I have a few questions to him regarding the Ethics and Humanities workshop that we held in, um, the, uh, in our institute recently, that's on 15th January. Uh, now, Dr. Pradal, the guest speaker who came in, um, Dr. Anand Pan. Yes, Dr. Anand Pan. What did did you did you like his uh, did you like his talk or what was something outstanding that you thought about him or did he, is there any word which stays with you or maybe a line or a sentence or phrase? Law is a minimum ethics. Oh yeah, he said law is a minimum ethics. Yeah, that that is, was very beautiful sentence. Very beautiful sentence. And and did you did you discover your your own self or your own colleagues coming out with different aspects of ethics in autopsy work or dealing with dead bodies and cadavers? Yes, no, uh, so uh, Dr. Sri Vijayakumar presented on the issues in forensic photography. Uh, we also had a hearty, a hearty discussion on uh, the literature of the LCR. And uh, then we Oh yeah, Dr. Dr. Jayanti, did you yeah. did you like that how what, what so many things about research and cadavers that she spoke of and how we must take consent and the consent issue becomes totally different for a cadaver. Would you like to say something on that? Mm -hmm. Because the level of scrutiny is much more immediately work, perhaps that's the really same so yes. but, um, I thought that it is the same um, before the workshop, but uh, that was new learning about the workshop. Mm -hmm. And did you did you uh, did you think that uh, bringing in uh, things like dividing it into you were part of organizing the workshop? Uh, how how did you divide the topics, or what were the various divisions that you made in forensic uh, ethics and humanities? How did you divide the various topics, and did you think they were um, really relevant? The division was not. Uh as discrete um, as far as the ethics and humanities parts are concerned, they are both intertwined. But uh, within the forensics, we uh, discuss uh, forensic pathology, the autopsy, before autopsy, after autopsy, then the, the case documentation and ancillary investigations. So, uh, more or less, we cover all the parts that a forensic expert is supposed to be. To me, even toxicology lab looked a little like a new part of ethics which was uh, delivered by our uh, resident or colleague. Uh, senior resident Dr. Sandeepa, did you uh, did you uh, do you would you like to share some recent uh, uh, tests that we have started on the analytical toxicology lab that we started and what really inspired Dr. Sandeepa to bring out so many issues related to toxicology? So we had to develop SOPs new for this toxicology lab in which we are doing twelve panel drug testing and many of those are uh, some of those are prescriptions but others are illicit drugs and we have found those. Uh, in the of the sample that we have. So, issues come up, then there, there are issues of uh, who does that devotion to not put any present and how to be reported. So, she got that as well. I also like one statement which uh, Dr. Nanfan mentioned, which was so true for, for you all residents and for us when we work. He's like he mentioned something like ethics are what we do when we are alone, that means no one is watching. That was so beautiful, and I think that lays the foundation of our work ahead. Thank you so much, Ratamdala. Thank you for having me.